So 33 of you, are doing two, 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 two. so we have about half. Is that it? No. I'll go check on huh? I'll go check on yeah, it's not that. I'm not like keeping the roll or anything. It's just if we want to get started, see if I need something. Oh, but we're you know what? It's okay. Don't bother because we're late. We have to get going. We're starting at 12, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is Mo Mena. You know Mo Mena now, do you? Yeah. She used to be my student way back. <laughs> yes, indeed. Can you stand up, please? Yeah, that means you. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. And... Is that an Arsenal jersey? Out. <laughs> quick, come on, quick, quick. Go, 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 go. Okay, no, you can stay. <laughs> but if you have any designs, if you have intentions about coming to this college, yes? Uh, okay. All right, see this, this. Put your hands down on your side. What's the people doing this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to breathe, which is something that you do quite regularly, but not necessarily quite well. So this is how we're going to do it. I want you to breathe in till five. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing in, okay? And then hold it. And then when I say breathe out, I want you to breathe out till five. One, two, three, four, five. Are you ready? <laughs> breathing in. So I just realized I can't say and breathe out till five when I'm actually have breathing <laughs> in five, right? You get it? So let's do it again and breathe. You get a bit dizzy? <laughs> Good. Okay. Go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 yeah, if it's coming from here. Ah. Uh, uh, now go. Ah. Uh, 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 from here. The sound comes from here. Uh, Why is it? Why this? Why is there an urge to cover ourselves? Which is this? Say what? Nervousness. Nervousness. Good. Nervousness. Stress. Yes. This idea. It's like so. You protect yourself because you're in focus. You Arsenal fan. What happens when the team, football team, is attacking, and they score a goal against the team that's defending? What do the defence do? Almost to a man. The four defenders and the goalkeeper at the same time. They all do the same thing. No, the team that's been scored against. What do they do? Think. Anyone? They start crying. They You're right. So now you're getting your gestures. We're into gestures. The gesture is this. More or less. <laughs> you don't believe me? Next time you're watching football, check it out. So attacking team scores a goal. Defending team all do this. Why this? Yeah, they're Board. upset, they're disappointed. Board. But usually when you're disappointed, it's like, you could look miserable. This gesture, what does it say? Like this, look. If I do this to you, like this, look. Huh? I'm better than you. It says, stay away from me, this. It's like, stay away from me, right? It's my space, it's not my fault. Like, you're very good. Yes? Yes, sir. Because the body is very telling. It tells a lot about us. Forms what we're doing. Say 20. 20. 20. 20. Dwarves. Dwarves. Took. Took. Turns. Turns. Down your nose. Turns. Turns. Doing. Doing. Hand. Hand. Stands. Stands. On. On. The. The. Car. Car. Pet. Pet. All together now. 20 dwarves. Twenty dwarves took turns doing handstands on the carpet. Twenty dwarves took turns doing handstands on the carpet. Better, and once more. Twenty dwarves took turns doing handstands on the carpet. Why? Because they can. Good answer. <laughs> if that was a philosophy exam, you get A+. Plus. Why? Why not? Another reason. What's your name? Me? Yes, you. Mo gives another reason. This is what happens when you say something intelligent, you're obliged to follow it up with something else intelligent. Well, because, they wanted to. because they wanted to. Also because they were aware that all of the sounds that you're expected to make when you speak the English language are in that sentence. All of the 
the plosives, fricatives, diphthongs, the way your tongue is supposed to bounce off your teeth, the roof of your mouth, in the sentence. It therefore follows. If you practice speaking that sentence, you practice speaking Sorry. in English. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. Unless you absolutely have to. Which is usually just your parents or the, your nearest and dearest. Uh, more Mena. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Red leather. Yellow leather. Yellow leather. Yellow feather. What's going on? Quick, chop, chop, chop. Ladies, come. There's one here. Space for one here. And over here. One in the middle. Say red leather. Yellow leather. Yellow leather. Red leather. Yellow. Red leather. Yellow. Yellow leather. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens when you come late. You see, I put your hands down by your sides, and I'll tell you. Go. What I say? Red leather. <laughs> Yellow leather. Red leather. Yellow leather. Red leather. Yellow leather. Red leather. Yellow leather. Yellow leather. Very good. You like it. Um, down the middle here. On this side. Red leather. Very good. What's all this about, I hear you asking yourself, why? It's a tongue twister. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. I suppose it is a little bit. What about Polly picked a peck of pick of pepper? <laughs> Try that. Polly picked a peck of pick of pepper. And pick a pick of pepper that Polly picked was purple. <laughs> do, you know a real, do you know what's a real tongue twister? Mo, this one. She knits where she sits and she sits where she knits. Yeah, no, 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 you try that one on your own time. <laughs> now, uh, take a seat. All that stuff is designed <laughs> to wake you up. But it's also essential to... What are the three different genres of literature? Huh? Poetry. Poetry, excellent. What's your name? Abdul Rahman. Abdul you're doing very well since your late arrival. You redeemed yourself. What's your name? Mohammed. Catch up, Mohammed. Uh, poetry, good. What else? Drama and comedy as a branch originally of drama, now as a branch of literature in general. Very good. So there you go. Twenty dwarfs took turns doing hands as the character. Do you want to write it down? No. No. Moving along. Okay. <laughs> the three genres of literature: narrative, poetry, and drama. Let's talk about. Well, very actually, can anyone give me an essential distinction between the three? Do I need to tell you who I am and why I'm here and why this stuff is important? Yeah. Or do you know that? Yeah. I'd better. My name's uh, Rodney Sharkey. Uh, I teach literature in the pre-med program. And you guys are here kind of getting your feet wet, right? A bit of induction in relation to what you can anticipate in pre-med. Yes? So part of what you can anticipate in your pre-medical education is a couple of liberal arts courses with myself and other professors like me, who believe that we are almost singularly alone in bringing to you in your pre-med and perhaps also in your med education those essential qualities that are essential to be a good doctor, which are, apart from all of the scientific and medical skills you have to develop, a sense of empathy, and a sense of shared human experience. Right. Mohammed. Yeah. Mo. Yeah. Mohammed. Yeah. Abdul Rahman. Yeah. Still with me? Yeah. Good. OK. So, um, and I think what I'm just giving like two talks, what I'll do is give you a general overview of what I teach, which is literature, but also film and comics and other exciting stuff. Give me a difference between the three. Mo. So, Excellent. So, poetry is about feeling, inner feeling, your feelings. 
You're saying, whereas narrative is more about the telling of a story, and drama is about expression. Exactly so. Which is what all of those 